In this problem, we're given that the line segment between the points 8, negative 7, and 4, 5 is the diameter of a circle, and we want to find the equation of this circle. I think it's best to start by trying to visualize what's happening here, so I'll do my best to try to sketch this out. So starting with an XY coordinate system, Eight negative seven would be in the fourth quadrant, and four would be about halfway out. Five would be in the first quadrant. So those two points would be the end point of a diameter of a circle. So that means it goes from one side to the other uh, through the center. So if I can, I'll try to draw a circle. Not a good circle day, I guess. Um, just to visualize what's happening here. So we want to find the equation of that pretty bad looking uh, circle. <laughs> we know the general form of the equation of a circle is x minus h, where h is the x-coordinate of the center, squared plus y minus k, k is the y-coordinate of the center of the circle, squared, equals the radius, r squared. So we need to find the center of the circle, the coordinates h and k, and the radius of the circle. So we'll start by trying to find the center. If we look at this picture, we can see that the center would be somewhere in that vicinity, and that would be the midpoint of the diameter. So we want to find the midpoint of the diameter, and that would be the center of our circle. We recall that the midpoint is the average of the x-coordinates for the x-coordinate of the center and midpoint, and the average of the y. So we'll start out by averaging, add 8 plus 4, the x-coordinates, back up here of the uh, given points, divided by 2 and that'll be the x-coordinate of the center. And then we're going to do the same thing for the y. So we'll take our negative 7 and add 5. Again, we're averaging. Add them up and divide by 2. So doing the math out, let's see, that gets us 12 divided by 2 for the x-coordinate and negative 2 divided by 2 for the y-coordinate. So finally we get 6 negative 1. And again, that will be the center of the circle. Now we need to find the radius. So the radius is going to be the distance from the center uh, out anywhere to the circle. Um, but in this case, uh, we, we just found the center and the two endpoints uh, end of the di diameter would be on the circle, so we could actually find the distance from the center we just found, 6, negative 1, to either of the two points. I'm going I'm to work with the 4, 5. Um, I think that might be a little bit. So let's recap there. We have the center that we just found, and that was 6, negative 1. And we have one endpoint on the circle, which, um, like I said, I'm going to work with the uh, 4, 5 one. And we want to find the distance. So remember that the distance is equal to the square root of the change in x. So we're going to subtract the x's. Um, the order doesn't really matter as long as we're consistent throughout the problem, so I'll take the 4 as the second x minus 6 as the first x squared plus, now do the same thing for the y, so we have a 5 for the second y minus a negative 1. We'll have to be careful with that because we have a minus and a negative next to each other, quantity squared. So the square root of that whole thing. So the first time through, um, 
let's just figure out what's inside of each of those parentheses. So 4 minus 6 will get us a negative 2, and we have to square that. And we have to keep it in parentheses to be careful that when we square it, we remember the negative is part of the square. Now on the second one, we have a minus a negative, so minus a negative is going to turn to plus a positive. So we end up with 5 plus 1, which will get us 6 quantity squared. Okay, so next time through now, let's square each of those. Following our order of operations, so negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4, plus 6 times 6 is 36. And then finally we add them together. Now, for other types of problems, we might work on breaking down the square root of 40, but when we put it in the circle formula, we're just going to square it. So there's not much sense in breaking it down to just square it again. So what we've now got is the center of the circle is 6, negative 1, and the radius, I called it distance, but really that's the radius of the circle. Okay, so again we have um, the center right here and the radius right here. So let's go to and whoops let's recap that information one more time so the center uh, we had was 6 negative 1 and the radius was square root of 40 and now we're ready to put that into our equation of a circle so x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals the radius squared. So we're going to insert again our h, our k, and our r value, and we have our h right here, our k right here, and our r value right there. So x minus 6 quantity squared plus y minus, our k value is negative 1, so again I'm going to be careful and wrap that in a parenthesis, quantity squared equals our square root of 40 squared. So cleaning up just a little bit, we're going to take the x minus 6 squared is just fine, but the y minus a negative 1 we're going to turn to minus a negative again plus a positive, so y plus 1 squared, and square root of 40 squared, basically the square and the square root undo each other, and that just turns into a 40. So we have found the equation of the circle whose endpoints of the diameter are 8, negative 7, and 4, 5.